7 and Channel 2 to the future of space now. A successful rocket launch overnight marks the end of an era for space travel. Yeah, Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers is outside of the Johnson Space Center right now. Good morning, Brittany. Yeah, good morning to you, and we do have some updates. In the last hour, we told you that the trio had successfully docked at the International Space Station, but we now know that they were able to open the hatch as well. Uh, it was about 6.08, so we're told that they were able to enter the ISS, and now is when the work will begin. That crew will be there for about six months working on various different research projects. How are you opening the hatch? A successful launch now docked at the International Space Station. As they open the hatch, this mission marks a pivotal moment in and history. Lift off. This is the last scheduled time the U.S. will pay Russia for liftoff into space. The United States has been relying on Russia for space transportation, but now with SpaceX, the U.S. could have more autonomy. This mission involved a fast track maneuver, which allowed them to reach the ISS in just three hours. On board the spacecraft, was Russian cosmonauts Sergei Richikov and Sergei Kudserkov, as well as NASA astronaut Kate Rubens. As we build on this fundamental research, we can come up with new technologies that improve the lives of people on Earth. This is Rubin's second trip. She trained at Johnson Space Center, and during her first expedition in 2016, she became the first person to sequence DNA in space. During this six-month mission, they'll be working on research in technology development or science and biology. Rubin says she's excited about the significance of this mission. We're expanding our access to space, uh, and we're really increasing our output of scientific uh, experiments that we can do on board with this with this program. So I'm excited to see where the future leads. So something else to note as far as safety measures are concerned, Ruben said that the crew spent weeks in quarantine so that there wouldn't be any exposure to the coronavirus. Reporting live this morning, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News. All right, Brittany, thank you so much.